Hey guys, and welcome to episode 3 of my multiplayer series. Um, I actually already recorded episode 3, and then after the recording noticed that it hadn't been recording. So, unfortunately I'm not as far as I wanted to be uh, with my videos. Um, I'm going to try and see if I can make quite a few videos now. Uh, well, I think one tonight, and then the other one tomorrow morning when the rest of the guys and gals are on. And yeah, um, so today we're going to be making our cement mix, and also, since this is a multiplayer server, yes, awesome. Look at the amount that's burned in over here. So now we can actually make cement mix, and we can make a ton of frames. Let's see. Wow. <laughs> 40 minutes. And frames. Uh, rebar frames, 1,117. I'll have to make all of them. I think for now I'm just going to make 1,000. So craft that many. It's about 30 minutes. Okay, so craft those. And then cement mix, 1,510. Damn, okay, so that's going to be another 36... Okay, so that should do for now. I actually want to see if I can make... Oh, I already made it. Cement mixer. So we're going to be placing this. And then also we need to spend more time online. Like I said in the previous episode, the more time you spend online, the more points you get. And with that, you can actually buy stuff. And I desperately need to get an auger ready so we can dig all this out. But for this episode, I think we're going to go exploring a bit and see if we can finish the looting. Okay, the wrench I'm going to keep on me. Machete. I'll change for that, and then, what's the food and water on? Food, water, okay, that's looking okay. Unfortunately, because of all my dentist appointments this week, I haven't been actually able to play on when other people are on. This morning I recorded episode 2 when they were on, and then episode 3 was their dad. And then if it wasn't for that, I'd have an episode 3 with other people as well. So this episode is just going to be me solo pl playing this multiplayer server, and then perhaps, who knows, maybe more of them show up now. So last episode, uh, well, for the first episode, we went all the way over here until about there. And remember, I said, even though the loot respawns, I'm only going to loot what I haven't looted before. Which to me, otherwise, that feels like cheating. And at least now we have a mini bike, so this is going to be much easier. The only stuff that I do uh, constantly re-loot are these stone stump, uh, these tree stumps because they hold a chance of having night vision goggles and if we can find night vision goggles it will be so much easier getting stuff done at night. I should actually see what my ping is at so that I know how far to stand away from the zombies. Remember guys, even though I'm getting ping that will, does not mean you will also be getting ping on the server. Um, the only problem we have at the moment with is that, uh, that I'm in South Africa and the server is in America. And just because of that, I'm getting lag. I hope actually I find a few animals, even though you can buy with points, it would be nice to give more meat to the community. So I intend to loot these, but that's depending on if they've not looted before. Because I know a lot of people play the server already, so they could have looted it. I need to kill way more zombies to get my levels up. Okay, firstly, let's see quickly. 380, that's okay. That's actually very low for me. It has been 280 before, and that's awesome. Okay, so these seem unlooted. So I'm also going to be taking apart the cars for more engines. Usually I wouldn't take these items from... Because uh, the guys gave them to me. Uh, they gave everyone proper tools to work with, but if it wasn't for the fact that I uh, can help out and that, I mean it's day 19, this is episode 3, I haven't actually played the server so I haven't done anything, and the more the days go on, the bigger the hordes get, especially if you face the hordes together. Sure, my contribution to the horde will be a lot lower, but a horde is a horde, so at least the tools allow me to uh, set up faster. Ok, 
Okay, and then last one. Are there more cars over here? Doubt it. Nope, only a sleeper. Let's quickly kill this thing. Uh, it's a fat zombie, he's not gonna die from the first shot. Way more cars over here. Bullseye, damn, what is plat? I've noticed that if you get to. If you shoot them in the head and they die, you actually get more experience like that. Especially if it's a decap or something. It's just something I noticed. I just have to watch out. Let's just do this for if I need to stack. Because I need to watch out for a dog, a horde, or a wolf pack or something. I wonder if the game treats it like I've never been... Well, I've only been online for like three days. Or if it actually treats it that, um, while well, my level game stage is high, it is day 19 and I haven't died yet, so just send everything. If it's a latter, it means that they'll send dog wards for me. Ooh, way more cars over here. I asked the server uh, what was the stance of cars. Uh, you can take them apart, they said. You don't have to wait for them to... Um, respawn the loot because I mean there's anyways never actually anything good in the cars I should actually keep one space open so we can at least tell if I'm full or not don't want to go dropping stuff I need a ton of engines for my design because I need to build the generators and I need to make way more mixes I'm gonna need a ton of reinforced concrete, or rather concrete mix. I hear noises. Well, the door is open, so if there are any zombies, they'll come for me. Can't wait until I have purple tools. And I think a purple tool does this like in two or three shots. I think I'll leave the rest of the cars for now and just keep looting. Don't want to take all the cars for myself. Guys, I'm also taking the frames so I get all the gas. Because we don't have a ton of gas. How many of you, comment down below, how many of you have actually subscribed to such a channel and asked for the token? It would be nice to play with you guys. I really mean it. Where the hell did you come from? Do not rubber ban on me, sir. I hate it when zombies rubber ban like that. I know it's a multiplayer server and you can do nothing about the lag, but still. Doesn't matter how good my internet is, the distance between countries is just way too far. Of course, if a dog pack or wolf pack uh, comes around now, I'm screwed anyways. Because dogs, I think dogs can jump this. But I mean, one bite to this and it explodes. Or even the die wolves can jump over this. It's actually a terrifying uh, thought. A wolf that can actually jump over a car. I need to take this apart, but I'll do that later. For now, we need to get looting. Sleepers. Let's kill them in the dark. I can be lucky she didn't stand up. This is it? Yep, cheerleader. So she has a very large arm span. Or long. <laughs> I don't know which other one it is. Okay, so let's just see. What are we wearing at the moment? Definitely. No, this is for heat. Uh, we'll still keep the best one. Guys, I do apologize for the slight static you might be hearing. Um, I actually intend to get myself new headset, a new headset for gaming. Might just get a normal headset with a 
stand up mic. It's going to give me way better quality when I'm talking. Okay, so for now, stone we can get, and we have a ton at the base. Into jaws. Cool, this place is oh, not done yet. Also guys, if you wrench the lights, you get parts from it. So just a tip for those of you that didn't know that. Um, that reminds me, I actually need to take this. Only three, you can scrap this one. Uh, put that up there, and now let's see. I oh, don't throw it in there. So you get electrical parts, electrical components, and plastic. So all these lights, all the signs on the doors, the open signs, everything you can wrench now. And obviously the cash registers, but that's been in the game for a while now. Is this open? No, it's not, but we do have a steel pick, so we can just as well go in here. I wonder if this place has been looted, because I mean, why is this wall safe still, un uh, still locked? Quite a few of the players on the server have uh, green and above tools. So this shouldn't be any problem to them. Oh, bad quality. I need to get my skill up so I can actually use it. And by that I mean the bartering skill. Um, this we can scrap for now. I know I should actually be scrapping ammo. And then minibike, where are you? Okay, so these we drag. Ooh! It's better quality actually, so let's put that one on, refuel. Even the engine, I didn't even notice the engine was better. Okay, so these we put there and then everything else we put in there. We should actually only be putting in the stuff that we most likely won't find. Uh, but anything goes at the moment. Okay, so let's see. We keep going to this one. And I think, we're just going to keep turning uh, right. Hmm, should we finish this first? I think we're going to finish this one on the right, this one. And then we're going to head for this side over here. Then we have this whole side covered. It's a real shame I don't have a night vision goggle or two uh, lying around. Because I really need something that I can see in the dark. The mining hump attracts way too much attention from the zombies. Every day there's more and more of the map explored. Uh, with the points you gain from being online, you can actually buy waypoints. So you can teleport home, but it's ex uh, very expensive. It's a thousand points, and to get a thousand points, you have to be online a lot. And there's also waypoints to like big cities and stuff like that, and that costs a hundred waypoint uh, for not for the waypoint. Cheers guys, let me know down below, what do you think about this multiplayer server? Are you keen on playing with it? Uh, or on it? And uh, will I be seeing you guys? Remember this is for PC only at the moment, uh, this isn't a console game. So if you're on PC then come join us. Bird's nest, always. I think I've missed quite a few bird's nests already. These houses seem unlooted. Let me just adjust the mic's cord because that's causing the static and then this we have to take apart to get a better basket but I first want to clear out this place as soon as the zombies are clear I'll put on the mining helmet and you guys will be able to see better I have no idea where the zombies are spawning in late because I'm getting a little bit of lag This room seems safe. So let's quickly check in the bookcases. We actually need to go visit the cracker book, the big one. But I'm just afraid of the lag. Oh, that gave me a fright. I think that one's downstairs in that room. So we might just have to go kill him first before we continue. Ooh, another range, but a crappy one. I actually need... Oh, and a beaker. We'll be able to make a chem station and we get more. They're upstairs. 
Oh, there's three floors to this thing. Uh, that reminds me, while we here, uh, just quickly loot this. Come on, give me some stamina drinks. And scrap, scrap. Wait for the spawn, nothing. I'll really despise late spawn now. Okay, let's see if there's anything in here. And already there is a zombie up here. So let's just hope it doesn't blindside us. Where is the one that's making all the noise? Okay, I wonder if it's this one. The noise actually sounded like it came from a different direction. But his death voice actually sounded more familiar. Oh, bad aim. Come on. She could have actually walked around. I wonder if that registers as a path for her. Okay, let's make some space over here. This we can just wear because we don't have anything on our face. Come on, can we drink some food? I need something uh, more food. I do have a little bit of meat, I think, at the base. Oh no, I used it on the meat stew. So I don't have any food at the base. Okay, more space. Let's just scrap all of these. Do I have duct tape on me? No, I don't. I actually wanted to turn the glue into duct tape, but just now I find more glue. Okay, this room quickly. Come on, pistol. Nope. There is a lot of lead around, uh, around our base. There's no need to actually be taking that. Uh, splint we need because I keep breaking my leg. You know what, the glue can go for now. So this was either a zombie or someone actually broke through here. But I, I'm guessing that was a zombie because that's way too much damage. A player would have just gone through the door. And this we can actually scrap. How lively is the roof? Hello there, nurse. Come on. Sometimes my, aim, my aiming is epic. Like, I can kill something from so far away. And then other times, I miss and miss and miss, even as they are getting closer to me. I think that puts more pressure on me, and that makes me miss even more. Let's go dump a few things, and then move on to the next building. I actually want to see if I can get the Day 29 Horde, or Day 21 Horde, on camera. It was for me, that's going to be a small Horde, but some of the people on this server are actually quite a high level. Um, I think it is King Don, that's level 79 plus. And that was this morning when I last saw him, so he might be even higher now. Okay, so drop everything in the minibike. Also guys, uh, tip, if you're afraid of wolves and stuff, you can do this. And then loot, uh, then put, put your loot away. Just an insurance policy so that if anything approaches, they first have to destroy the crates underneath you. Although destroying that crate isn't that much of a task. Okay, water going up. Uh, what do we take off over here? We still need to learn the gas book. Let's see recipes? Yes, we still need that book. Damn, okay, so we can put these away. And then on the map, we turn to the hotel. Okay, so if this thing hasn't been looted recently, there's going to be a ton of sleepers in here. Lag. If I'm not mistaken, this is the hotel that was usually in Nether's game. I saw so many YouTubers build on one of these. But they're always built on the roof and the roof is unstable like hell. As hell. Okay, so this... Oh no, just some of it's looted. Remember guys, always... Uh, crouch down when you're busy with something and not looking around because anything can attack you from anywhere at least the screen lights up a bit if something sees you so you have time to actually do something except if it's of course a wolf pack then you are screwed let's go parts up here 
Let's see. Ooh. Okay, now I need to drop stuff because my inventory is actually getting interesting over here. Um, headlight. I want to keep this to make more forges. Plus, we can always find more. And then, no, I don't want. I don't want cloth. So I'll, I wonder if we've already dropped an engine or something. Okay, now you go. I'm actually. I find it uh, curious that you can find. Oh yes, horde. I want to get them. This is going to be a little difficult. Look at the amount. This is going to be a little difficult since I can't use my melee. Just have to make sure that none of them get too close. Okay, now I have to be careful because they can actually rubber band any time. Just have to keep all the zombies in one spot. Oops. Don't want her to get me while I'm getting him. And let's see if we can get all of them together because I don't want them to split off like this guy has. Just be careful. Just imagine how bad it would be if a wolf pack and a dog pack and a horde attack you at the same time. Trifecta from hell. Need to be careful not to get stuck on the gore. And have to wait for that head to actually bob. Oh come on, that was a lag spike. Just as I was about to shoot, my mouse actually went up. See the delay there? It actually showed she hit me, but I didn't lose any health. So the game thinks she hit me, but she didn't actually. Oh, come on. Oh, no, 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 no. I can't believe I'm going to die again. Well, not again. I haven't died on this one at least, but still. Come on. Oh, that was so close. So, so, so close. Always remember to look around you guys. There's gore blocks and everything around you. I should actually be using that gas barrel to blow it up. Don't know how many arrows that's going to take. I'm struggling with these cheerleaders. Their heads bob up and down way too much. If you think fighting a horde is difficult, try fighting it with a ping of three something. Whoops. Oh, come on. I need to kill them. Can't be going and missing shots like as easy as that. Okay, last one. Well, there's still one over there. But last one on me. Let's hope they have some interesting loot for us. Ooh, food. actually clear some inventory space to grab the cans but one or two tin cans isn't gonna make that much of a difference Ooh, I don't have space for that and that went just right beside the head I've noticed that quite a few of these zombies shake, but I don't mean like the ones that walk with their hands, hands in front of their heads. I mean like, as they're walking, they look like they've taken way too much caffeine or something. Their whole bodies just shake, jitter. Okay, this is the last one. And then we need to get this hotel quickly. Uh, don't have space for that. I could probably do uh, drop a few more things off in the mini bike, but I don't know many, how many of these things are actually going to stack or not. At least we're getting our scavenging skill up, and we got some XP from all this horde, so that's awesome. But I already did that one. I'd actually be lucky I saw that because it walked right past. 
Okay, so refill, and then everything that I don't need, let's just drop it up there. See, it's quite a few, little bit of space that I'm making over here. So who knows, perhaps I could have actually taken a few of those clothing pieces and breaking, broken them down. But the cars are more important, and looting is more important. At least we're getting a ton of mechanical parts. It was so bad getting a ward or dog pack or something now. As I know I talk a lot about dogs and wolves and stuff, but since Alpha 16, that's the only reason I keep dying. Ooh, Don is on. Ooh, what a bad typo. Gay Don. <laughs> that was a bad typo. Okay, collect the springs. Ooh, small engine. Uh, so what can we scrap? This. I can just make my own splint. What color is it? Green. Awesome. Cloth, cloth, cloth. Don't need cloth, so it's fine for now. Okay, that should be enough cars for now. I mean, how many engines have I got now? Uh, it's one, two, and uh, three. That's enough for now. Yeah, definitely. And then this we can put... No, we keep getting cloth, so let's just put that on us. Let's see what our, which one of these we can actually stack again. I should actually be throwing all of these out or scrapping them. But if my barter skill goes up, I might be able to get quite a pretty penny for, the, uh, for all of them. Okay, watch out for sleepers, especially surprise sleepers. Okay, this has been looted. I wonder if this whole place is looted or not. Nope, not the whole place. But what can you actually get from washing machines? Okay, this we need definitely. I want to make quite a few more forges and we need to get that base going. So I think off camera, I might just need to do quite a bit of mining. Well, not mining, yeah. I need to get uh, some more clay and then more stone and start making cobble. So at the moment that's going to be our best bet for the defense for the wall. I do actually want to go and... Okay, let's just put this away. I do want to go and then um, make the, defense, the wall out of concrete mix, out of reinforced concrete. But as a start I think it's going to be easier. I want this zombie, a zombie to jump me. I think it's and the start's gonna be easier to do it with cobblestone than just upgrading that. Okay, how many hits is this gonna take? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. Not worth it. I'll wait until I have better tools. This I wanna take apart. All electronics we need. Okay, and then this side, and then we have to check these rooms. I don't think all the rooms will loot, so just the most important, oh, actually the, say the most important stuff, otherwise it's going to mean there's nothing left. I think there is nothing left. So we're just going to take this TV and then we're going to keep going. I actually thought we were going to loot this thing until the end of the episode, because it's so uh, big, but uh, the whole place looks like it's been looted. Who knows, perhaps there are some rooms that are unlooted, but I'm not going to take the trouble of going through this whole place just to get those one or two rooms. Uh, did I loot these guys? No, I did not. Okay, so that's awesome. Zombie that actually has mechanical parts in it. My biggest problem, guys, and the reason why I keep hitting that um, dog and wolf thing is because I'm lagging so much, um, I won't be able to escape it. I need to see the wolf first. Don and I actually went through that place during one night. And that's why I got an infection and had to use antibiotics from the community center. That sucked. It was actually a surprise zombie that got me. Oh 
Come on, stand still. Whoa, did I just drop? No, 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 no. Can't be going dropping my bow. Okay, so I need to repair this. We didn't drop that much. I actually expected it to drop way more. It's a shame I don't have steel arrows. Don actually made steel arrows for everyone, but I didn't take it. Oh, come on now. This guy's going to be difficult to hit. Let's into the same room as him. And make sure he doesn't actually come after me. Because the lag's going to get me then. Okay, so, uh, gunpowder. I don't want to drop it, but... Oh, no. It's dropped the oil. I know I'll need it for Molotovs later on. But it's not that important at the moment. This is almost destroyed. And I need... Nope, don't need that. I hate when you accidentally over-scroll with the a mouse wheel. Let's see, nothing, nothing. Only empty jars. Should actually be taking them with me. Oh, that's something else I should have actually kept on me since we get so many of them. You only need to put stuff in your mini bike that you don't, uh, know you won't get in something. Otherwise, it's just a waste to throw stuff away or leave it behind. Another one in here. I could have sworn I actually put the reflection on this off. Or is it off? There's still a kind of reflection there, so I wonder if it's just the quality of the reflection that I turned down. No zombie. Scrap this and then do this okay guys so i think i'm gonna call it an episode here what i'm gonna do is um the looting i'll do i think i'm gonna loot this block the rest of the block off camera i don't want to do too much looting on camera because i mean looting has been done for, before and i want to get to my epic bold also <laughs> the rate things are going i'll never get to my base building i've just broken down houses and stuff so i'm gonna finish this and then i'm gonna go and see if i can make some cobble and who knows perhaps some cement mix but the problem is we don't have any sand and stone. We need to go get gravel paths. So I might even just go and dig up some gravel. Because we desperately need that. So if you guys like this episode, please like and share with your friends. If you have any comments or tips or feedback, or you want to let me know if you're going to join the server or not, leave that down below. And if you guys are new to this channel, remember to hit that subscribe button for more of this content. Oh, last minute goodness. And see you guys next time.